What's up? So today's video is all about this new Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Setting Powder, okay? This right here. So this powder is supposed to, one, help your makeup last all day, two, have no flashbacks, slash not make your skin ashy. So we're gonna try it out and see how it works. Let's begin. Okay, so the first thing is I'm applying my foundation. I have a little bit of it on already. I didn't blend it out yet though, but this is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Foundation. It's been my obsession. If you're wondering, it's full coverage. <laughs> and it looks mighty, mighty good on the skin, okay? And side note, while the foundation is kind of setting into my skin, this powder is supposed to blur imperfections, minimize a photo flashback, not make your skin look ashy, especially in photos or even in person, and then also set your makeup for all day wear, okay? <sighs> What? The cool thing about today is I'm gonna be wearing my makeup all day, one. I also, I'm packing to move, so it's gonna be on my face, so <laughs> intact. Also, I'm gonna be doing a photo shoot today, so we're just gonna test it out in all areas, okay? All areas. So this powder also retails for $7.99, if you're wondering. I found mine at my Dwayne Reed slash Walgreens. Yes, I did, mm-hmm. But you can also find it online on Black Radiance online on the website. <laughs> Are you guys taking me for real right now with this on my face? So this powder actually looks very similar to the Sasha Buttercup powder and the Ben 9 Banana powder. So I personally love both of those powders, preferably the Sasha Buttercup, but the Ben 9 is still awesome too. Also, this powder comes in one shade, one, not two, but one, okay? And it's in banana, so let's see how this works. First thing is I'm gonna blend out my foundation. I'm just gonna apply a little bit more by my cheek area. I'm gonna use dabbing motions to blend it out onto the skin. So good, if you're looking for a drugstore foundation, even though my cover is a little wonky and it's a little dirty, but that's because I use it a lot, I do recommend the Maybelline 24 hour foundation. I honestly don't need as much foundation half the time, but I just love a full on look. I love it, Jesus, I love it. Okay, I had clip it extensions and I put them in my hair and I kind of did like a highlighted look. If you guys want to see that video and how I curl my hair in general, um, or how I do this hairstyle in general, you can definitely go check out that video. I'll link it down below. I uploaded that video on Monday, and today's Sunday, right? Yes, so check it out. All right, guys, so moving on to concealer. So I'm using one of my favorites, a mighty long while, but it's amazing. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm using the color Fawn, but I also like the color Toffee. I usually use Toffee more when I'm in the summer, because I get a bit, bit more darker. If you've never tried the LA Girl Concealer, like, you have to let me know. <laughs> because it's just so good and I feel like you need to try it, but if you haven't, let me know, let me know, let me know. Okay, so now I wanna show you guys when you open the product like this, you get this big sponge right here, which I'm probably not gonna use to be honest. So we're just gonna place it down. And then you have the powder, which is covered with a clear wrapping. All right guys, are you ready? Okay, so I'm just gonna apply this under my eye. It feels very thin. I'm gonna take it on the chin and forehead area too. Just using dabbing motions to blend this onto the skin. This is how I usually apply my powder in general, so we're not changing anything in our routine. Wow, it looks good. It looks good, guys. I like how it looks. I like how it looks! Honestly, like, I wanted this to win because I want Black Radiance and Black Opal to win, you know what I mean? I do want them to win, but I'm gonna be honest, always, always. Wow, looking at my skin, as I'm blending, it blends like a dream. And it looks beautiful on the skin. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and blended out the powder. I am so here for it. All right, so I'm gonna apply the rest of my makeup and I will be right back with you. Yeah. All right, guys, so this is my finished look right here. I just did like my basic everyday look. It's not really basic, but I call it basic because it's like routinely in my routine. You guys, I have to say, I love how the powder looks on my skin right now. Look. Do you see it? Do you see it? Okay, it looks so good on the skin right now. I'm not even kidding you, okay? Literally flawless, okay? And it reminds me a little bit of the banana and the Ben 9, but just cheaper, eight bucks. Eight bucks. So we're just gonna turn it around. There I am right here. Let's do this. It actually looks still really good with flash. Like, no ashiness, okay? That's what I'm talking about. So I love how flawless it looks on the skin, but I wanna see if this product actually lasts on the skin. Not really focusing on my eye area, but my face area, does it last long? Is it all day wear proof, like I said? All right guys, this is how the powder looks in natural light. It's snow today. 
Why does it, every time I do this, like it snows? <laughs> but this is how the powder looks. It looks good. All right, guys. I've also I also got my nails done. Hello, check it out. <laughs> I haven't got my nails done in like five months. It's been a long time. Okay, so I also have been obsessed with this bag from F Color. If you're wondering, um, it is literally my go-to bag. Now I always bring like a large purse and everything, but I'm just like, you know, you need to calm it down in 2018, Rose. Like. Keep it very simple. So like this bag is my go-to bag. It's so easy to travel with one. It has a lot of different zippers. So I have like a lot of stuff, like some stuff in here. <laughs> and there's more stuff. There's another opening in here where I keep my makeup most of the time. Little makeup items I have, mascara. I'm not really much makeup today, but hey. And then I have another opening right here where I bring my favorite uh, perfume. I wish it would last longer on the skin. <laughs> then I have the bigger opening here, which I usually put my laptop in my bag but i'm not gonna put it in my bag today but just to let you know your laptop can fit in your bag i'll list the link to my bag down below if you want to check it out i definitely recommend it like it is my everyday bag <laughs> it's so comfy guys hello hello, hello. oh yes i love it <laughs> okay my final thoughts on the powder. I wore it all day. Now it's around 12 a.m. I can tell you 100% right away to recommend this powder to you. Yes, 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 okay? My skin looked beautiful. Even the photography, the photo shoot, I can show you pictures on Instagram. My skin just looked amazing. No flashback for this powder. So if I have to say for you to check out this powder, yes, definitely pick it up. Definitely try it out and let me know your thoughts down below if you've tried it out or if you're gonna pick it up. Also, in addition, one con I have to say about the product, not really about the brand, but more about the packaging. It is so hard. I don't know if it's just me, but the actual packaging is very hard to open, such work with the lid of the product. You, when you get it, you'll see what I mean. So that's my thought on the new Black Radiance powder. Do you guys like it? What do you think? Let me know down below. I'd love to know. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe down below. I upload new videos every single week, usually three to four, sometimes three to five. Also, make sure to hit the notification bell if you're not subscribed yet so you can see my newest videos as soon as they come out. And you can see the newest products slash newest makeup tutorial, newest video in general because I make makeup products, reviews, all of that good stuff, face, you know. All in there, but thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys